Hello again and welcome to this section, Pandas, everyone's favorite data analysis library. In this section we will talk about Pandas. What is Pandas and what we can do with Pandas and why is such an important library in the Python data science stack. We will talk about series and data frames, which are the most important objects in Pandas. We will talk about the properties of these objects and some of the operations and manipulations that you can do with these objects when doing data analysis. And finally, we will learn by an example. We will learn how to use the objects in, the, in this library using a real-world dataset. In this video, we will give an introduction to the Pandas library. We will talk about what is Pandas, what are the capabilities of Pandas, and we will give an introduction to the main objects in this library series and data frames. Okay, so let's go to our notebook right now. Here we are in our notebook and I will run this cell here uh, because we will use these libraries as, as we uh, go along in this lesson. So uh, before doing any work, let's talk, let's talk for a bit about what is Pandas. Okay. So Pandas is everyone's favorite data analysis library, providing fast, flexible, and expressive data structures designed to work with relational or table-like data. So the kind of data that you see in an SQL table or in an Excel spreadsheet. It is a fundamental high-level building block for doing practical, real-world data analysis with Python. Okay. Pandas is well suited for the following cases. When you have tabular data with heterogeneously typed columns, uh, such as the data that you can find in an SQL table or in an Excel spreadsheet. If you have ordered or unordered time series data, uh, Pandas is excellent for working with time series data. If you have data that is in rows and columns, like in a matrix, okay, um, you can use Pandas to work with that data. And if you use in your work observational or other type of statistical data sets, um, you can use Pandas and it will work very well for this type of data. Okay. Um, so the two primary data structures in Pandas is the series, which is a one dimensional data structure and the data frame, a two dimensional data structure. They can handle with these two data structures, uh, you can handle the vast majority of cases uh, for data analysis that you will find in different fields like finance, statistics, uh, social science, and many areas of engineering, um, and many other areas of business as well. Pandas is built on top of, of NumPy, and this is why we had to learn a little bit of NumPy uh, before this lesson. And it is intended to integrate well within a scientific computing environment with many other third-party libraries. So you can use Pandas in combination with other libraries, as we will see here. We will use it in combination with uh, some visualization libraries, okay? And there are, uh, th these are just a few things uh, that you can do with Pandas. You can go to the documentation page and, and read these on your own, but um, just let me briefly mention that, hand, that Pandas is uh, really well for handling missing data, uh, for creating and inserting and deleting data uh, very easily in your data structures. It provides what is called data alignment, which is very, very helpful. And we will see uh, later what is data alignment is about. You can do group by operations and we will actually use them a lot. Uh, and you will use these operations a lot when doing data analysis. And there are a lot of things that you can do with pandas. So I encourage you to go to the documentation and, and read everything that, that you can do with it, okay? Now, let's introduce the most important objects in Pandas that are the series and the data frames. Okay, so uh, for start using Pandas in, in your work, this is the convention, this is the standard convention that we use in the Py in data science with Python, uh, you import pandas as PD. And you will see this in the code of everybody who works with pandas in the data science community in Python. Okay, so this is how you import it. 
Now, let's talk about the Panda series. Um, so the series is a data structure in Pandas that is a one-dimensional labeled array. Okay, and this is, these are the characteristics of this data structure. First, the data that you have in a Panda series can be of any type. You can have integers, strings, floating point numbers, Python objects, and, and many other things. Okay, uh, but all the data must be of the same type. So that's why we say that is homogeneous. And the other characteristic of the series is that always has an index. So having an index gives this data structure properties like the properties you have in a dictionary and also this data structure has properties like the ones that you have in a Python list or in a NumPy array. Okay, so this is an example of a series. Uh, if you have a, the, the series retake. So this is an example, this is a visual example of a Panda series. So as you can see here, you have the data and, and every data point is associated with an index. So this is the data that is associated with the index uh, of Monday. This is the data that is associated with this index of Tuesday and so on, okay? Now let's briefly see how to create Panda series. You can create Panda series in many ways, but the most common ways are the following. You can create um, a Panda series from a list, you can create uh, from a dictionary, from a NumPy array, and the most common way to create series is actually from an external uh, data source like a file. Okay, so, so here I will just briefly show you how to create series from lists, dictionaries, and NumPy arrays, okay? So this is the first case. Um, this is how you create a series from a list. Here we have a list of values uh, that we call temperature. And here we have a list of values uh, that we call days. And um, these values we want to associate every day of the week to a respective temperature here. So Monday corresponds to 33, or uh, it is better to say that 19 corresponds to to Tuesday, uh, 15 corresponds to Wednesday, and so on. So to create a series from this data, all you do is to use the constructor, uh, what you can call like, like so, pd.series. Then the first argument is the data, the, the actual values, and this is an optional argument, the index. So here we are saying that the index for this series will be the list that we have here, days, okay? And when you create this object, you will get something that look like, looks like this. As you can see, each value is associated with a respective uh, index here. Okay. Now, uh, you can also create a series from a Python dictionary. In the dictionaries, uh, you always have keys associated with uh, respective values. So when you create a series, a Panda series from a dictionary, all the keys will be used as the indices and the respective values will be the values in the series associated with the index. So let me show you what I mean by that. So here we have, again, the same data. Uh, the days are associated with the same temperatures. If we pass this dictionary to the constructor, what we will get is uh, a panda series that looks like this. Okay, and as you can see, although the days of the week are not ordered because uh, we don't have a, an, an implicit order in Python dictionaries. But as you can see here, we have the same associations. Um, 11 is associated with Friday, uh, like this. Uh, Monday is associated with 33, as, as you have here, and so on. So this is another way, sometimes uh, it is useful to create a pandas series from a dictionary, okay? And finally, I want to show you how easy it is to create a um, panda series from a NumPy array. In this case, I am creating a NumPy array using this function, lean space, okay? And uh, all I have to do here is to pass this object, this NumPy array, to the constructor, to pd.series. And what you get here is a panda series because we didn't specify any index. Uh, pandas created an automatic integer index that starts with zero and goes up to the number of elements that we have minus one. So in this case, we have 15 elements. That's why you see that the index goes 
all over 14. Okay, so uh, this is the way you create Panda series from a list, from a dictionary, and from a NumPy array. Okay. Now, before talking about Panda's data frame, I want to mention that uh, you can actually do vectorized operations with series, uh, with Panda series. Just like you can do with NumPy arrays, you can treat these objects uh, like series. So if you do an operation like this on a series, uh, you will see that this multiplication will be applied to every element in your series. Okay, so here we are multiplying the whole series by 2. This means that every element will get multiplied by 2. And similarly, you can do other types of uh, arithmetic operations, like you can add uh, a number, or you can even apply what are called the universal functions from NumPy. Okay, so, so for instance, if you need to calculate the exponential of this function, you can use the NumPy mathematical functions, and every element will be used in in this function so you will get what you get back from applying this operation is another panda series with the same index with the same index and uh, every value is the value of the original series when applied uh, this this function okay so this is very important to know and this makes panda series a very suitable for data analytic work okay now let's talk about pandas data frames a data frame is a two-dimensional label data structure with columns of potentially different types so you can think of a pandas data frame as an excel spreadsheet or a, as an sql table okay so uh, because this is a two-dimensional data structure you have two indices here you have the index for the rows okay and just like in panda series you always have an index for the rows and you can think about the name of the columns as the index for the columns okay so this column is associated with these value dates this column is associated with this value tokyo and so on okay and this row is associated with this index zero this row is associated with this, with this index 1 and so on. So you have two indices, one index for the columns and one index for the rows in a pandas data frame. Now there are many ways to create pandas data frames, but the most important case or the most commonly used case is when you create pandas data frames from uh, a file. So you can create uh, data frames from a CSV file, from an Excel file, or uh, another very, very common case, maybe perhaps more uh, commonly used, is when you create data frames from databases. Okay. Now, in this, uh, in, in this lesson, we are going to create a data frame from an Excel file, but uh, you can easily create uh, data frames from other sources. Okay. Once you have created your data frame, you can use one of the columns as a as index. And in this case, we have that uh, this dates column has, has been used as an index. So every row now in this data frame is associated with uh, a respective date. Okay, and I will show you how to do this uh, in the following videos. Okay, so in this video, we introduced the pandas library with the two most important structures. Uh, series and data frames.